morning, we are being joined virtually by Barrister Clifford Thomas, who is um, the chairman of civil society organizations, um, Aquabum State Chapter. We are going to be looking at certain issues in, you know, um, a very quick streak. We had... Um, the 10th House of Representatives released its six-point legislative agenda for the 10th Assembly. And um, we'll just break down some of these things that they have enunciated. And we are going to also be explaining their capacity and willingness to get these things done for us. We also have a conversation around electricity price tariff hike. And um, the Civil Society and Consumers Association in Aquibum had had a meeting last week to have this conversation would like to know what exactly was discussed at that meeting and uh, barrister clifford will be doing justice to this conversation good morning um barrister clifford good to have you on the show this morning well good morning Uye. good morning spectrum good morning let me quickly say that i am the i am the chairman i mean i'm the coordinator of aquibum human rights community yeah not of the entire civil society. We are specifically human rights. And virtually everything we do mm -hmm. or the engagements we are in, into are human rights, including the electricity thing we are talking about. Yes. So last week, we had the Aquibum Electricity Consumers Forum, the, the meeting, which was very, very successful. And we came out with... Uh, um, resolutions with a communique and we are happy to inform the entire viewers that the Senate yesterday adopted part of our recommendations and condemned and as it were the right of humans. So we are very happy with that information and we'll keep it in. Oh, Hello? Yes, okay, we can hear you right now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yes, like I was saying, Nigerians must rise up. We must wake up to say no to God. But then we encourage the government at the federal, state, and local government level to come out with very good policies that will help the local government, the states, and the federal government. Mm. That's what we're looking for. We are trying to help the government to align with Chapter 2 of the Constitution, which says that the primary purpose of government is to... Um, work for this, provide security and welfare for the people. We are asking for security and welfare for our people. We have over 90% of Nigeria's population as unemployed or underemployed. And it is from this large army of the unemployed that um, people recruit from for criminal purposes. And when the government begins to say that they want to carry out palliative for 12 million households, households that are probably non-existent in their mind, they might just look at uh, <laughs> just uh, 500,000 or 1 million households and bring out information that they have fed. We are saying no to that palliative move. The federal government should not give the uh, national Okay, um, we do hope that um, this network will not mess around with us this morning. Uh, billion. Okay, Barista Clifford, I'd like to ask, at the um, consumers' meeting for electricity tariff hike and the likes, what exactly was the bone of contention? What was the basic issue that, you know, consumers were raising or for, you know, the human rights organization to be able to tender before, you know, um, the requisite authorities? Like you said, some of your... Um, Suggestions have been taken up by the Senate, but what exactly did the consumers group bring to your table? And how, you know, what were the suggestions that you made thereon? Well, 
the major bone of contention was number one, overbilling. Number two, non provision of adequate electricity. In fact, non provision of electricity in some instances, in some areas. And then they come with crazy bills, they call, uh, they, they just come with crazy bill. Um, this funny bill they come with. And some persons, you won't believe, some, someone came and complained that they billed him 329 or so thousand naira per month. And his bills have risen up to over 2 million naira. And the other man came, he was uh, he's, he's a pensioner who earns 20,000 a month, but his bill is 63,000 naira a month. And this man lives in a four-room apartment, which is uncompleted, and there is virtually no light most of the, the times. And there are a litany of complaints. Mm. So overbilling, non-provision of electricity, uh, when non-supply or replacement of transformers or uh, electricity consumables, when they go bad, and you still come to force people to pay so much bills. And we are saying no to it. And the, in the Bill of Rights, it says that when you are overbilled and you now discover you've been overbilled and you challenge that bill, you contest the bill, you are not supposed to pay that bill. So we are telling people, consumers, if you challenge a bill in writing, don't pay the bill. No matter how they persuade you to pay whatever you have, don't pay. Let them cut the light. They will pay. We'll go to court against them. Now, we have a very successful um, litigation which came out. Uh, Barista Francis Equerry took the PhD to court and won. And they came to give him transform, I mean, uh, what's it called? Meter, like, uh, prepaid meter. They installed it, they brought it from Portacot and installed free for him. And then they also paid him 250,000 naira for the overbilling mm. that they overbilled him over the years. But this is and something that most that Nigerians. PhD, this is something that most Nigerians don't know. They don't know that they can actually take um, PHED to court and then um, proceed. The discourse can be challenged. Mm. The discourse can be challenged. They are private limited liability companies, which means they are out to make profit. I want to say very categorically and authoritatively, every consumable from transformer to the power cables that are used to transmit electricity, are either supplied by the Aquabon state government or the consumers or communities. The PHED has not replaced any, and yet it has the temerity to come out to say they want to collect um, uh, bills. And for the um, uh, prepaid meter, the best thing here is that we should, consumers should be metered. We should have prepaid meter. Now, the postpaid meter, the one you call analog meter, is still working. But they refuse to read it. It reads per kilowatt. And a kilowatt has a certain price of money. But they know that they won't have a way of exploiting or defrauding the people. That's why they refuse to read it. But so exactly for there, there's a lot of irregularity. If you can. There's a lot of irregularity surrounding that whole meter thing. Now, some quarters say you are supposed to pay to get the meters. Others are saying no. PHED is supposed to just come around and install it in people's homes. But we see that getting that whole, you know, new meter system is a whole hustle that people cannot even, you know, um, get off the way. Most times it's more like if you have someone in the system, then you are going to have the new meter put in your house. But I know having this conversation, how have you been able to... To break that down barsa clifford are you on the line yeah okay yes i'm talking about the interference with getting the new metering system now the the irregularities concerning this thing uh the former governor of aquibo state set up what was called a metering solution company where they got parts from outside the country and assembled in Nigeria. And that was supposed to have been what they would supply. But it was a private arrangement. A limited liability company went in to produce, and then they are selling. We have a, a leeway now to them that they can supply and install all your prepaid meter with
This is we, it. Okay, please take your last trend of thought. 72 hours. We lost what you said. Buy. We lost your okay, last trend of thought in like, like 50 seconds. Okay, I, I want uh, my to ask questions. Always ask questions. When they claim a point, please ask questions. We are ready to help you very correctly. And we are ready to go to court if it comes to are going to court for you. Mm.